Today, students, um, on this tip, we're going to be going over the factorial arithmetic, the arithmetic of factorials, and then later on, we're going to be applying this to um, real life scenarios. Okay, so write down the title of this lesson the arithmetic, the arithmetic of factorials. Factorial is a symbol exclamation mark. Okay, the exclamation character is a symbol for factorial. Okay, so one, th so learning the objective, write down the objective real quick. By completing, by completing 80% of assigned password problems, Password problems, you will apply, you will apply the definition, the definition of factorial in finding, in evaluating factorial expressions. In evaluating, evaluating factorial expressions, factorial expressions with 100% accuracy. Okay? All right. So, first thing you want to know is just put a note. Note that Factorials, factorials apply only to positive, positive numbers. Okay, so that was just a side note. All right, uh, let's try the following examples. We're going to evaluate, all right? Evaluate. Number one, what if I had a uh, zero factorial? A well, zero factorial is just one, okay? Now, what is number two? What is if I had one factorial? By definition, one factorial is just one, all right? And then number three, what if I had two factorial? Two factorial is going to be two times one. You don't need to put the zero there. Two times one is just two. Number four, what is three factorial? Three factorial is three times two times one, which is six. So you see the pattern here? All right, let's try number five. Number five, what if I had four factorial? Four factorial is going to be what? Four times three times two times one. You see the descending numbers? You just descend all the way to one from whatever you start, and that's what factorial is. So four times three is 12, 12 times two is 24, okay? Now what if we want to generalize? If we wanted to generalize, number six, what if we had n factorial? Well, n factorial is going to be n times n minus 1, what's the number before n minus 1 times n minus 2 times, you go down until you hit 2 times 1. That is the definition of n factorial. All right? Okay, let's take a look at slightly more complicated problems. Number 7, what if I had 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial? Okay? Factorials on the bottom are problems. You want to get rid of problems. So this problem right here, I don't want to break it up because it's going to be too much. What if I leave it like that? What if I go 5 times 4 times, what if I stopped at 3 factorial here? 3 factorial. What if I stopped there? Instead of going on and on. Why did I stop there? Because it matches perfectly with the denominator, which is a problem. Since these two match, I can simply cancel them out. And then that's going to become 20. 
because these two, if I expand, this one is going to be 3 times 2 times 1. This is going to be 3 times 2 times 1. They are going to cancel out anyway, so I don't need to bother expanding them. So that's the answer. All right, what if, if I had uh, 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial equals? It's going to be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, did I have to break this, this part down? Did I have to break down this part? That was doing extra work, right? Because this whole part, this 4 cancels with this 4, this 3 cancels with this 3, this 2 cancels with this 2. Our answer is 6 times 5, which is 30. Right? So the smarter way to do this problem, if I wanted to have done it, was to have said 6 times 5 times 4 factorial stuff. Because 4 factorial matches with the bottom 4 factorial. Right? So just like we did up here, this one and this one cancel out. And the answer is 6 times 5 which is 30. Okay? Alright, let's take a look at a similar one. Number 9. What if I had uh, 5 factorial over 4 factorial? Now that one is going to be 5 times 4 factorial stuff over 4 factorial. And then these two 4 factorials cancel out. And your final answer is 5. Okay? All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at a more complicated problem. Number 10, what if I had um, 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial? Okay? Now, I have two problems now. So I got to pick which one do I want to get rid of. How about I get, focus my attention on the bigger problem, which is 3 factorial? Okay? So for the bottom, you got to break one, keep one. Okay? So on the top, I'm going to go 5 times 4 times 3. 3, I'm going to stop at 3 because that's the problem I want to break, get rid of. And then since I'm break, I'm keeping this, since we're going to keep this, put a K here, I'm going to, I need to break this one. I keep this, break this. So if I break down 2, 2 is 2 times 1. 3 factorial, I kept it because I want to get rid of it as a package. So these two cancel out. And then you end up with 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Okay? Alright, let's take a look at number 11. Number 11, what if I had uh, 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 4 factorial? So you're going to have 6 times 5 times 4 factorial, please, divided by 2 times 1 times 4 factorial. I stopped at a bigger problem because I want to keep this because it's bigger. And I've got to break this. you got to keep only one and everything else has to be broken down. So your four factorials cancel out. What is 6 times 5? 30. 30 divided by 2 is what? 15. And there goes your final answer. Okay? Uh, so that's that. Now let's try these the following problems, right? Using factorial, using factorial, notation. Now number 12, what if I had uh, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1? How can I write that using factorial notation? This is the same thing as 5 what? 5 factorial. Alright, number 13. What if I had 10 times 8, oops, sorry, <laughs> 10 times 9 times 8 factorial? 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. I was breaking down what factorial and stopped at 8 factorial. I was breaking down 10 factorial, okay? Well, we start from the first one. The last one, number 14. What if I had uh, 7 times 6 factorial? This is going to be the same as 7 factorial. Okay? So that's that. All right, thanks for paying attention to this clip. Uh, I'm going to note that it's uploaded on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. All right?